Welcome to closing ceremonies of PenguinCon 2013. It certainly doesn't feel as if just two days ago I was sitting here welcoming you to the convention in the first place. And also it feels as if it's been years. This convention <laughs> has felt amazingly short and long all at the same time. So thank you for making it amazing. Um, we couldn't do it without each one of you. You each contribute in your own way and I appreciate every second of that. Um, I especially appreciate all of the efforts that were put into the duct tape kayak, I believe. <laughs> if you happen to miss that one, I believe that it successfully did float and hold a human, yes? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there's pictures to prove it, awesome, yay. There were so many other amazing things this weekend, and it would take me just as long to announce every single, each and every one of them, but holy moly, this was awesome, unbelievable. <laughs> really, really awesome. Um, I especially want to thank the hotel for doing more than I ever anticipated. <laughs> Thank you, of course, to our hotel, and thank you to our guests of honor. They have had an amazing time, um, smiling the entire weekend, enthusiastic and having fun. And thank you guys all for uh, keeping track of them, entertaining them, and becoming their new friends. So every year we have over 700 hours that have to be filled for the convention and these are filled by wonderful volunteers, but there are a few that stand and go up and above. And I have... Is this better? Yes! <laughs> okay, so I have a few volunteers that go above and beyond because we filled about 500 of over 700 hours, and several people did way more than they needed to. So I wanted to thank them. And so, Nathan, Tina, and Bill, can you all come up here? And a special thanks to Jim Hines, who really helped out and got awards for everybody. Thank you guys. Our volunteers are such a big part of the convention and you don't necessarily see them. They're sort of the men behind our masks. We depend on them so heavily that we uh, really do appreciate all of their efforts and um, for the future, if you didn't know, if you volunteer for so many hours, we actually reimburse your badge. So keep that in mind for next year if you want to help out in fun and new, exciting ways where we send you off to do a job that you did not plan on doing. But <laughs> in the end, you get your money back, so it's all worth it. Um, next, we also have the awards for the room party judging. Jessica, would you please come up and tell us about that? We had some fabulous parties this year. I hope you all got a chance to visit at least one of them. Um, we have three categories, which we have winners for, and um, each of our three winners will receive a pass to next year's con. Um, in the first category for best drinks, the winner is the completely random cocktail hour. <laughs> In the category for best atmosphere, Bar Fleet. And for the 
best overall theme, including a fantastic ice sculpture, which I hope you all saw, the, best, the bad porn party. <laughs> Thank you, Jessica. At this time, I'd like to allow my ConCon members to thank all of their staff, so I'm just gonna pass the microphone down. Hello, everybody. Um, I'm Tim Slovak, head of programming for 2013, um, and I would like all of the people associated with programming to please stand up. All of the track heads and project managers and assistants that have something to do with this. All of these people that are standing, they helped to bring us um, just under 300 unique events and just over 500 hours of programming that we crammed into this weekend. Um, and I think that we had one of the most varied and unique sets of programming we've had in a while. We had so many new things and we finally filled so many of those positions to have representations from all the tracks. Um, if you, there was something for everybody here, and I think that's thanks to all these people who are just standing. So please, guys, thank you so, so much. Everybody, give them another round of applause. Hi, everybody. I am Christine Bender. I'm head of operations for this thing we call Penguin. Um, we work in the coat room all weekend long, and I've got to thank every single staff member and volunteer that worked back there for me this weekend. We handle everything from where's Perry to my projector broke to there's someone passed out in the hallway and I'm not sure if they're dead or alive. <laughs> um, we do the gamut and the people that work for me are super. Um, we are 24-7 through the con so there's someone sitting in that booth at 4 o'clock in the morning. Anything you need, we're there to provide it for you. So thank you very much. A special thank you to Tina who was our first responder responding to any medical issues that happened this weekend. So if you uh, had a medical issue, you might want to give her a little hug for maybe saving your life. <laughs> and I wanted to take just a second now to direct your attention to my chest. <laughs> We've had a very special charity with us this weekend. You've probably seen me walking around with my box and the donation box is over by Ops. And we have the folks here from New Beginnings Animal Rescue uh, that we have been... <laughs> They were the official charity this year for PinguaCon, and you guys were amazing. You guys really love your animals. Um, and speaking as a cat lover with five cats, you know that this is near and dear to my heart. So I wanted to let you know that we managed to nearly fill both of those boxes over there with pet food, leashes, toys, treats, everything like that, which is all going directly to animals that are in need. And another uh, service that New Beginnings provides is a pet food pantry to low-income families who have fallen on hard times and can no longer afford to buy food to feed their animals. So rather than have them give them up for adoption, they buy pet food and give it out to them for free uh, so they can keep their animals in their house. And that's part of what has to do with this box, which I've been walking around with all day asking you to put your cold hard cash in. So I wanted to let you know that in addition to all the pet supplies, we also managed to raise $550 for them this weekend. <laughs> you guys have been so generous. I wanted to see, though, if we could possibly, by the time closing ceremonies ends and you all filter out for the rest of your lives, leaving PenguinCon behind, if we could come together just one more time and maybe try to scoot them up to $600. I think that between everybody sitting in this room, we can manage 50 more dollars. What do you think? Yeah. All right. So if you can donate, come up here after opening, or sorry, closing ceremonies. I'm not ready for it to be done yet. <laughs> and put your money in the box, and every bit of it goes straight to the animals they are. A 501c3 run by volunteers, they need your help. So thank you very much. Amanda doesn't have staff, but she thanks you for your money. <laughs> I'm Yuri Gojai, hotel liaison. Um, I have had a very long weekend. I don't think I properly anticipated just how much work being a hotel liaison is. 
I think I just kind of watched Jer year to year, and I really don't know how he did it without staff. Um, so I'd like to thank James Gamble, if he's sitting in here or not, but um, yeah, he is, James. James and I have been best friends since we were like five years old. We have pictures from kindergarten together. Serious, we're like hetero life mates. So, uh, but he, he really saved me this, this weekend and totally took off some of the load that I was running into and, and just rocked the hell out of it. Um, also, Marshall Mirock, who's probably hiding behind the projector over here, but Marshall has been our AV Wrangler. Uh, six, six Marshall is chief engineer, and he had, what, six rooms of audio-visual that he kept audio equipment running for? Even with projector problems and microphone problems and <laughs> the problems he ran into, he totally rocked that all weekend long, so Marshall. Uh, also, Chris Krieger and uh, Joe Bender took care of our PeopleCon open network, so if you use the PeopleCon network in the lobby, that was their doing, so go for them. Thank you. <laughs> and then from a very, very heartfelt, uh, once again, I know Sparrow said it when we had our, when she opened, but uh, we have two gentlemen from the hotel standing in the back corner now. Um, so on the left is Chef Josh. Chef Josh is the man who brought you the, the Tiki Lounge, which I walked in and I'm like, a Tiki Lounge? But they rocked it the entire weekend, and I think, you know, in my opinion, that was the best room party we had at the hotel. Um, so, um, and then next to him is Adam. Adam is the front desk manager. Also, So Adam's soothing, calm voice kept me soothed and calm all weekend <laughs> when I was, uh, you know, generally falling apart. So he was pretty, I mean, he stayed here last night actually in a room so he could be here for most of the night and actually so many of the staff have. So um, at the end of this, when next year officially starts, we're going to cut a quick promo for the hotel, but uh, we'll send our appreciation as well in other ways. But, but guys, again, thank you so much. and I'm the head of hospitality, so I want to go to you. I'd like to ask my staff to stand up, and I'd like to ask anybody who volunteered in the con suite this weekend, and it doesn't even have to be official volunteering. If you helped in the con suite, stand up now. Because they are the con suite. They deserve the praise. Some of them work only all of you. I so appreciate you. It can't be done without you. So they didn't tell me I had to sit over with them and there were no chairs over there so I just took an open chair. I'm Amanda Robinson. I'm the head of registration. Tell me how much I suck or how much I, I rock, please do. Come on up later when we're not doing this. Later. <laughs> later. And I'll pass this back. I know we have all these microphones, but we're going to just pass this one around. <laughs> we like to share. Oh. We do. We're very open here. Um, there's a few other people who I would like to thank. Um, our talent liaison had to leave a little bit early, and uh, he did an awesome job of finding our guests, communicating with them, bringing them in, and finding liaisons for them. So 
Uh, since Kyle isn't here, all of my liaisons, will you please stand up if you were a go liaison? guys were at the beck and call of not only our guests of honor, but also myself and, and Kyle and some of the other ConCon members. They've done a wonderful job of making sure we've had everything you need, we need. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Additionally, I would also like to thank Matt Arnold for all of... Whoa. That's all I have to say, right? <laughs> Matt put together all of the laser cut signs that you've seen in the hallway, as well as the program book and the art cover for that. And Matt, it's awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> now at this time, what I would like to do is pass on my reins as con chair to the 2014 con chair, Nuri Gojai. <laughs> now, Nuri, I've got a little gift for you. See, last year when I picked up programming, um, you know, I had been going as Sparrow because there's about 7,000 Sarahs in the con, and uh, I wanted to differentiate myself. And when I picked up programming, I uh, somehow became captain, and we ran wild with this pirate theme. And so the, the best that I could find as far as a pirate ship went is Jake's sail wagon. So... <laughs> So, I'm, I'm giving my ship up to you. Oh. I'm sure it is quite larger than what I've found to represent it. But it's all yours. I think I just leveled up. So I am Nuri Gojai. I'm totally excited to be con chair for 2014. Um, we have been off to a very, very busy start already working on con next year. So we already <laughs> we already have guests of honor invitations out, which means we also have a bunch of new ideas, and I've committed to have those invitations out by the 15th of next month. Which, that means if we're inviting guests of honor, that means we have to have dates already. And if we have dates already, that means we also have to have a hotel already. And even though it breaks my heart that we can't come back here because of our anticipated size next year. It does. I almost cried when I was talking to them this morning about it. But we are going to be, next year, at the Westin in Southfield. In the backyards of our attendees, I, um, we're not going to have a con in someone's backyard. Um, and it's going to be on May 2nd through 4th of 2014. <laughs> Which means we just missed the 1st of May by a day. Aww. But if we ask them at the hotel on Thursday night, we'll totally have a 1st of May event. So. Yeah. Anyway. Outdoors. 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 In her backyard. <laughs> All right, so, so some things I want to focus on. I mean, we've already got so many things going. I want to keep that energy high. I want to just roll right on through it. And I don't want there to be a lull in the middle of the year where there's nothing going on. And so to accomplish this, and something that I missed, you know, I think it kind of started slowly declining maybe two or three years ago, but I'd really like to bring back the Smos dinners. I think that the, the part of PinguinCon that makes us so great is our enthusiasm and our excitement and our community. And there's no reason to just have that happen once a year. So I am announcing the return of monthly SMOS dinners to be held at houses throughout the community and probably starting at mine in Livonia. 
I already have lots of volunteers for people who want to have some moss dinners as well. Um, and then we're also going to have bi-monthly planning meetings at the hotel. So we're going to do a house and then the hotel and then a house and the hotel and basically just keep rolling right on through until May 2nd of 2014. So I am looking for a few good men, women, and creatures to join us in making PewCon 2014 incredible. I already have a lot of people, we had a meeting yesterday in the boardroom where folks came and gave me a lot of good ideas. I have so many good ideas of guests of honor. I have so many ideas of new nifties and new amazing panels and new events. And we're talking about having a Thursday night concert maybe again. Woo! Kind of like a front a lot, but we're gonna just hype the hell out of it. And get all the new people who've never heard of PinguinCon before and introduce them to our amazing community. We've got a, a new marketing officer, Scott Kennedy. We're making a promotional video that we're gonna use and we're just gonna. We're gonna market the hell out of PinguaCon to make sure everyone who hasn't heard of us, I think people will be sick of hearing about us by the time Con comes around next year. So um, talk about it, tell us your friends, and be a part of us next year. Uh, I'd really love to have you. So um, I'm really excited, and I hope you guys are too. And let's get to work. <laughs> Randy says check my phone. Did you just send a picture of Jer's mom? <laughs> um, this is, yeah. You know, um, can, I, can, I, can I do one more thing actually related to 2013? Can I have the guests of honor just share their experience real quick? Yes. You know, I would really like to hear from the guests of honor so they can share just a few words about how they enjoyed PinguaCon or if they didn't. <laughs> but Marshall, if they didn't, cut them off. <laughs> we'll start with <laughs> you let me make ice cream with squid ink. <laughs> Thank you so much. I had a blast. Uh, I, I had fun. I've been invited to talk at I don't know how many events with a technical track, and the truth is I have never been treated this well. It's really, really amazing. I'm stunned by how much you guys have your act together, and, and not just on Friday when we show up, but on Sunday morning when you're all staggering around like veterans of the psychic wars. <laughs> um, I, I did have one critical issue that I, I felt needs to be addressed though. Uh, we, we had a guest here from Germany, and I, I wanted to show him something quintessentially American, but there was no toaster in the green room for the Pop-Tarts. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you again. I had fun. Uh, my liaison did a wonderful job. He's my, in my day job, he's my boss. That's gonna make calling in tomorrow really interesting. <laughs> so, um, what, what could I say? When, when I came here to, from, from Germany a couple of days ago, I really didn't know what to expect. And, um, I have to say, I, I've been overwhelmed 
uh, Penguin Commander was such a such a colorful, such an exciting and still peaceful event uh, that that I'm so glad that I got the opportunity to to be a part of it. And um, I'd like to thank you all. I'd like to thank the organizational team. Um, being a presenter at conferences um, usually a bit feels like being a rock star um, without the sexy rocks and rock and roll. Um, <laughs> being, being a guest of honor um, here at, at Penguin really made me feel like a rock star, and I'm so, so grateful. Yeah. <laughs> I think I can treat it so well. <laughs> really, I'm, I'm really so excited, and um, I'm, I'm very sure of that, that I'll be back. Thank you. I, I want to absolutely start by saying thank you to everybody. This has been an amazing, tremendous experience. Um, I, I want to give a special thank you to uh, my my particular Rango. I was totally kidding about that whole green M Ms. That was that was I, I was really joking about that. But but it's amazing the length to which, and not only the organizers but everybody in the community makes the guests of honor really incredibly. Feel I mean, but I, I was really afraid to ask for anything, or even, and now I'm afraid to joke about this. <laughs> um, but the most, the most important thing I want to emphasize, on top of reiterating the thank yous and the comments and the kudos of everybody, except the toaster. Really? <laughs> I, I mean, I, I'm so sorry. Did you, did you, I'm sorry. I forgot the toaster. Did you ask them about it? Because I'm sure that if you had said that to, to one of the Wranglers, the toaster would magically materialize out of nowhere. <laughs> it was more fun to save it for this moment. Okay. <laughs> I, 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 can said, I, I can easily see the guys from I Dream Detroit just taking that being like, we can totally make a toaster. <laughs> Just to give a little bit of background of uh, those who are here, I've worked with conferences and conventions, very professional, very, you know, more hacker-oriented, fun, things like that. I've worked with dozens of different ones. I've helped plan dozens of different ones uh, all, all throughout the world. And I've never seen a conference that was purely volunteer that was this professionally run anywhere. And that is an amazing thing. And all of the organizers, all of the volunteers deserve an extra special round of applause right now for bringing such an amazing professional experience. Incredibly special. You guys, you really have something that is truly unique, something that I have never witnessed in my decades of globe trotting in terms of overall welcomeness, inclusion, sense of fun, sense of purpose, and sense of food. You have something incredibly special. Don't lose that. And give all of yourselves a round of applause for making that happen because this is a beautiful, wonderful thing.
amazing, amazing time. He loved every panel he attended. He loved meeting every single one of you. He's really sorry he had to leave so early. And that's all I'm going to say. So I've got to okay. go. So I hear that the dead dog is going to be delayed just a few minutes. We have to do some... Yeah. How long? Enough. Enough. So the dead dog is going to delay a little while. We have to do some shuffling upstairs. I need some rookie mistakes on room blocking. Oh. Oh. This, this, this won't happen again next year. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> we also have door prizes that we must give away. Ooh. So, here's how I like to do this. Since I am a bit of an impulsive and random person, if you are wearing a red shirt, yes, a red shirt, you have won the door prizes. Please see me. You ask why red? Because red is my favorite color. After closing ceremonies are finished, please see me. Additionally, if you have any more comments, questions, feedback for the people you see sitting up here or in the front row, Please stick around. We'll be here for a little bit longer. Of, of course, since the uh, dead dog's on hold, we have plenty of time to hear what you have to say. Um, but other than that, thank you so much. And uh, have a safe trip home. Please see Christine with anything you can spare. And we did have a sponsor of No Starch who gave us quite a few prizes and items that we've been raffling off and giving away all weekend. So thank you to them. Again, let's give them a round of applause.